Yeah, so I've been living now just over 18 months in the US uh, with this job. Uh, I initially moved to, to Rhode Island and I was living in Newport, obviously a great sailing town. Uh, but I started off there because the head office of US Sailing was just up the road in Portsmouth and, and now in Bristol. Uh, but it made a lot of uh, logical sense for me to, to go there, to understand the organisation, to learn the landscape about the USA. Uh, but at the same time, when I first started the job, Los Angeles was bidding for the 2024 Olympic Games. So we were waiting to see what might come from that. Uh, and obviously we now know that Los Angeles have the 2028 Olympic Games. But also in my time there was like, what are we, how are we going to create this pathway that I talked about? How are we going to create some unity within the USA? And there was a center of excellence concept that we were bringing together. And to me, the, f the full pyramid of the center of excellence concept is really bringing together that high performance pyramid that I talked about. So it's really talking about how we'll get strong regional programs down to that yacht club or that local area. Uh, but then one of the special things and one of the obvious reasons to going to San Francisco as well is the Silicon Valley just down the road, the access to technology. And also in San Francisco, what a great sailing city. Bre reliable breeze, but also all those little microclimates there. Uh, so you can really mix it up in one venue. It probably ultimately doesn't deliver everything, but what venue does? Uh, but it does, a, it does a, a hell of a lot of that. But one of the beautiful things is to me that the Bay Area community really, uh, I guess, saw this concept and then took it to, took it to a higher, higher level. And then with that, um, and when we were working with them in building this, this plan, I said to them, if we can pull this off, I will move to San Francisco or to the Bay Area and because uh, I really believe in this vision. And that's what I've just done recently. So six weeks ago, I moved my, with my family, my wife, my daughter, my, actually my pregnant wife and my daughter and the little dog. We moved across the country and uh, are now call Alameda home. And uh, although Treasure Island, we've still got to build the facilities, we were really fortunate that we got the Oracle Team USA base from Bermuda, from the America's Cup, donated to us. And we're actually going to be setting up that structure on Treasure Island, and that'll become our base. And we're partnering really well with the Treasure Island Sailing Centre, which is this community centre that's been running there for 20, I think the 20th anniversary is later this year. Uh, but what a great way to bring top of the pyramid together with that bottom of the pyramid and share share these experiences and when I think from the Olympic perspective what a great way to great way to bring humility to our athletes you know hopefully they're going to be rubbing shoulders with these these kids that are starting out in our sport um, you know hopefully with the Olympic medals around the neck and inspiring them to be that next next champion in 20 years time but the beautiful thing is the city city of San Francisco is actually wanting to develop uh, Treasure Island. And I know I'm going to get these numbers not 100% right, but I think it's something like 5,000 um, people head count are currently living on Treasure Island. But the plan is to get that to 20,000 plus in 10 years time. There's going to be a lot of, uh, lot of infrastructure, a lot of, a lot of development on that island. And of course there's going to be ferries coming from, from the city. So it's really going to become a little community. And, and obviously we're coming in right at, that, at the right time with that. So yes, there is that part of it. And I guess you could almost break it into a couple of different areas. Obviously, you're gonna have your seasoned campaigners or staff, and they're gonna wanna make that your home. And that, that's where you, they're gonna be, I guess, living like we all would in our normal town. You're gonna have a house, you're gonna have an apartment. And then you're gonna have your Olympic training camps when people might fly in. So you're gonna have to have appropriate accommodation like that. But then also in that, in that development, the youth, when there's gonna be, I guess, bigger and more of, more of that sort of environment coming in from a camp, more shorter, sharper, often uh, periods. So there's room in the concept for all of that. And, and that's part of the concept. How we tackle it and how we solve it, we're, there's no exact answer yet, but I know it's certainly on the agenda and we've got some great conversations going with the, the city to even real estate companies and people great Bay Area community that want to, uh, want to assist to make this happen. I always uh, like to ask that first question, what is the performance advantage? And when you answer that question first and honestly, 
that's when it leads you down the right path. And then I know this that might bring money problems or some other problems, but once you answer that ultimate question, if you're trying to achieve a goal and you can find that right path, then you know which way to go, it's clear. Okay, you gotta jump over your hurdles and, and get around them, but, uh, and to me, that's, uh, that's something that, that San Francisco, the, the West Coast um, base is really answering well. And of course, with LA just five, six hours drive down the road, uh, what, a, what a great way to look at the next 10 years.